This is Richard Wolf from Democracy at Work responding to another Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. And this question comes from Carl. And Carl refers us to a recent appearance on a right-wing show, a talk show uh, on television or a podcast in which uh, a supporter of Donald Trump's MAGA movement, Make America Great Again, refers to something called MAGA communism and even identifies himself in the conversation as matter of factly, oh yes, I am a communist. And what Carl wants to know, is there some redefinition, some change going on in communism that might make it somehow a partner of right-wing, fascistic, or other right side of the aisle uh, movements. Uh, so let me respond, and I'm going to do it historically so you can see the point I'm trying to make in that way. Throughout history, every time that socialism or communism have come back into the political arena, and I should mention to you all that they have been pronounced dead and gone and over with over and over again. I'm often reminded of the famous letter Mark Twain sent to the Hartford Current newspaper in Connecticut where he lived. After reading his own obituary in that day's paper, he wrote to the editor, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, the reports of the death of socialism and communism have been exaggerated by people who wished they had disappeared, wished they were gone from the historical agenda, but it has never been the case, and it isn't that now either. So what's going on? Answer is, if you're a political movement and you want to get supporters at a time when socialism is attracting more and more interest, well, you might be tempted to grab hold at least of the name. And I'm going to give you some examples of how that has happened. Probably the most important example is the one of Adolf Hitler in Germany. Hitler tried to build a movement in the 1920s in Germany. But the problem for Hitler was during the 1920s, what happened to Germany was a major reaction to having lost World War I, which traumatized the German people. Likewise, traumatizing them was the worst inflation any modern capitalist economy has ever seen up until that point. 1923, the value of the German Deutschmark uh, collapsed basically to next to nothing. And the 50 years of scrupulously accumulated savings by the German working class, a very frugal savings oriented working class, all of that was reduced to nothing. All that money they had squirreled away in an account couldn't buy you a quarter pound of butter. And these two events traumatized them. And then came the Great Depression of 1929, and it took them over the hill. But through the whole 20s, what was alive and creative in Germany was socialism. It was what replaced the defeated, discredited German aristocracy. Kaiser Wilhelm, the emperor of Germany, until the defeat of that country in World War I. So the socialists were everywhere. Music, art, culture, politics, the socialism, socialism. And Mr. Hitler made the decision that to build up his movement, even though it was the opposite of socialism, Hitler hated the Soviet Union, which is where socialism had won the governmental power in 1917. He hated the left. He hated socialism, had fought against it, had been involved in violent efforts against it. But he knew that to build a movement, he had to somehow tap into it. So he chose as the name for his political party, the National Socialist German Workers' Party. That was the full name of his party because the first word, nationalist, in German is national, and the first four letters are N 
N-A-Z-I. That's why it's called the Nazi Party. But the fact that Mr. Hitler took the name socialist fooled very few people in Germany. It didn't make much difference. And the very people he began working with who were interested in socialism were ejected from the Nazi party, often with violence in the years uh, later on in the 1920s. So don't be fooled by MAGA communism. Yes, it's a clever putting together of things that don't fit. It will get you some attention for a while, but there's nothing in Mr. Trump or the MAGA movement that is anything other than fundamentally hostile to almost everything that socialism has meant or could mean. If discussions like this clarify issues for you, and we hope they do, and that's why we make them, then please partner with us. Share this video with others who might be interested, who might share some of your interests and come to like this kind of program. We're getting very close to 300,000 YouTube subscribers. If you have not become one, please go over to YouTube, click on Democracy at Work, and become a subscriber. It costs nothing, and it builds the partnership between you and us. And also, if you find these kinds of videos valuable, please know there's a whole library of them at our uh, Patreon location and at our social media outlets. And last but not least, if you can help defray some of the financial costs, we will be grateful for that kind of support as well. Thank you.